we are going to discuss diseases of the immune system in which we will discuss aids acquired immunodeficiency syndrome Trology is human immunodeficiency virus HIV pathogenesis is opportunistic infections due to viremia that leads to a latent period of many years and during which there is progressive T cell loss which leads to uh, increased viral load and this viral load leads to full blown AIDS. Morphology. Morphological changes are as a result of opportunistic infections and um, new plasms that arise as a result of uh, immune uh, body response against HIV. Clinical expressions are infections like every patient presents with opportunistic infections like fever, flu-like symptoms and then neoplasms, lymphomas. The, which leads and uh, after latent period there is a uh, during that period there is progressive immune failure and loss due to decline in T cell number that leads to death of a patient. Epidemiology HIV spread through main four factors are like unprotected sex with an infected person transfusion of infected blood products, sharing of contaminated needles and syringes, and from mother to fetus. Infected mother to fetus, uh, almost a, ch a child with AIDS have uh, uh, um, uh, carried this disease through transmission through mother during birth. From mother. HIV transmission, common fluids that are means of transmission are blood, semen, vaginal secretions and etiology. HIV is non-transforming retrovirus in the lentigris, lentivirus family. It causes immunodeficiency by destruction of T cells. There are two main types genet of um, genetic forms of HIV, HIV-1 and HIV-2. HIV-1 is associated with AIDS in United States, Europe and Central Africa, while HIV-2 causes similar disease in India and West Africa. This is the structure of a virus. There is a lipid envelope and this HIV lipid envelope is derived from the host cell membrane and it comprises of this viral glycoprotein GP120 and is anchored into the capsule caspid through GP41 and these there is a variability in this envelope protein that leads to uh, making that leads to making vaccine against this virus very difficult the virus core contain two proteins like P24 caspid protein and two copies of viral RNA, three enzymes, protease, reverse transcriptase, and integrase. Now, through these enzymes, are also the results in the destruction of like tissue damage, protease destruction of proteins, and are responsible for the symptoms and also target of various therapeutic agents against this disease. P21 is the viral antigen that is the target of most diagnostic antibody assays. The viral genome contains many retroviral genes like GAP, POL and envelope genes and these are also the target of therapeutic agents, drugs. Pathogenesis Depletion of CD4 T lymphocytes and that results in immunosuppression is the main central pathogenic pathway of AIDS. Now AIDS like its HIV C has special affinity receptors and CD4 T lymphocytes, monocytes, APC families, which includes monocytes and macrophages. 
these HIV viruses like it's attached to the cell surface membrane especially HIV GAB120 protein and that leads to interization and in, in an integration of these viral particles into the cytoplasm of the host cell. When they enters into the cytoplasm of the whole cell, the reverse transcriptase enzyme is activated and it results in formation of DNA from RNA. Like this DNA formation leads to new virons which bud out from the cell membrane of the whole cell. This is shows next picture shows the budding process. First there is immature bud and that leads to a mature bud new viron particle that enters into the circulation. Now this electron micrograph picture shows the budding formation like it's the virus is bud out from the host cell membrane and out. This is late budding in which it's almost protruded out of the cell membrane surface. Next to it, it's a, it's a viron which has enters into the circulation and it's come out from the host cell. Now these shows mature new virons. These are the new virons which has entered into the circulation and they are ready to infect other T cells. APCs like T lymphocytes and uh, CD4 T lymphocytes and then this leads to further virons formation. Reverse transcriptase. The enzyme reverse transcriptase is used by retroviruses to transcribe their single-stranded RNA genome into a single-stranded DNA and subsequently they construct a complementary strand of DNA and it provides a double DNA helix capable of integration into host cell chromosomes. So it's that's why it is called reverse transcriptase. Transcription is the process in which RNA is synthesized from DNA and in reverse transcriptase enzyme results in transcription of DNA from RNA. Pathogenesis. Nine genes plays a role in pathogenesis of HIV virus. Among them, three genes like GAG, Paul, and Envelop, ENV, play their role in virus assembly and spiral synthesis like this gag protein it's a polyprotein and is processed by viral proteases it is a promote virus assembly at cell surface and that contain matrix p17 caspid p24 protein then nucleocaspid rna binding protein and P6 that integrates with final viron budding process. POL, Paul polymerase, that encodes the viral enzymes like protease, integrase, and reverse transcriptase. Envelop, GP160 protein, genetically protein, it cleaved in endoplasmic reticulum to GP120. We GPA that um, it's anchored to the cell surface by GP41. GP120 has affinity for surf surface receptors of CD4 T cell and uh, also for APCs like monocytes and macrophages, but affinity level is less as compared to T lymphocytes. Pathogenesis. This flowchart shows a path uh, like. First, there is primary infection, like primary infection of cells in blood mucosa as a result of uh, like uh, virus particles which infect the whole CD4 T cells and also the dendritic cells and immunocytes and macrophages. And these infected cells are drained to the lymph nodes on spleen. That results in adenopathy, lymph node enlargement, and splenomegaly. This 
lymph node enlargement and retinopathy leads to stage of viremia. This lymphoid reaction infection is preceded by viremia, increased viral load in the body, and there is an immune response against these viruses like anti HIV antibodies in the body and CD cytotoxic T lymphocytes play their role and there this leads to a latent period. This is a long latent period of many years like seven to eight years and this latent period results in slow destruction of the CD4 T lymphocytes and these further like that leads to immunosuppression and further rise in level of the virus in the body. Now, that leads to increased viral load and full-blown disease as a result of destruction of lymphoid tissues and depletion of CD4 T lymphocytes. So, main th treatment of AIDS is to increase this latent period in which the viruses slowly and destructively produce new virons through reverse transcription and that leads to slow and gradual destruction of CD4 lymphocytes. HIV infection and antibody response. Infection occurs like initial stages there are flu-like symptoms or no symptoms but usually after two to three weeks of infection patient present with these symptoms and then there is an intermediate or latent stage which is symptom free in which the viral load viruses like um, uh, keep uh, um, in on multiplying and they keep on and it results in destruction of the T lymphocyte car and the antibodies formation against these viruses occurs in the body and this latent or intermediate stage period of almost so many years then leads to full blown AIDS. The patient present with illness stage due to immunocompromised stage and the progressive loss of T lymphocytes. This flowchart again shows me like there is possible if first there is a viremia after infection of HIV. There is wide dissemination of virus seeding of lymphoid organs that leads to then a latent period, symptom free period of many years like almost seven years. Then there is against opportunistic disease like opportunistic infections, lymphomas, tumors and as a result of immunocompromised state of the patient and that leads to death of the patient. Journal immune abnormalities are lymphopenia, decrease T cell function and decrease number of T cell that leads to decreased T cell function as a result of destruction and loss of CD4 T lymphocytes that results in B cell activation and that is polyclonal but can lead to monoclonal activation and then lymphomas are mostly B cell lymphomas and there is also altered monocyte macrophage function like when there is destruction of T lymphocyte that leads to also um, uh, uh, like HIV virus has affinity for these monocyte and macrophages as well as and they these act as vehicles for transforming taking these viruses so presenting these virons to T cells and they can cross the blood brain barrier and enters into CNS and act, presents with CNS manifestations. Infections among them the protozoal infections, cryptosporidium that presents with diarrhea, ECP, hemocystis carinae, now it's called chivalrosy, and that results in pneumonias. Almost the patients in um, increased viral load presents with pneumonias and toxoplasmosis, and again a protozoal disease. Fungal infections like Candida, bacterial infections among them, TB is on the top, tuberculosis, 
and Cardia salmonella viruses, HPV viruses families. Like they are also um, results in HPV infections, CMV, HSV, and varicella zoster. So herpes family is also uh, results in opportunistic infections in a patient in in late symptomatic stage. PCP, Nemocystis chironiogyrosi. The this chest X-ray shows the bully or cotton wool like bilateral exudate and on histologically you see these dilated alveoli containing pink amorphous material woolly like exudate and this is when stained with silver stain this shows this cotton occurred penny like structures these um, on the silver stain Cryptosporidium is a protozoa and infestation that like these round structures which align themselves on the mucosal surface of the GI mucosa and results in sloughing off of the cell surface and diarrhea. This is a superficial infection as they do not invade inside into the mucosa. And these lymphocytes are again then wall off by fibroblasts. Cancers of the AIDS are Kaposi sarcoma is on the top and is also called Kaposi like uh, is then B cell lymphomas prime diffuse large B cell lymphomas CNS lymphomas before AIDS primary CNS lymphomas were very rare the patient presents with primary CNS lymphomas or toxoplasmosis are and are more com are very common in AIDS patients. Cervical cancers like squamous cell carcinoma as a result of HIV infection is also common in AIDS or HIV patients.